Here is a demonstration apparatus that someone many decades ago created with great love and care that only an engineer could appreciate. It's got this really big, very strong horseshoe magnet here. It says Edmund Scientifics on the side, so it might have been purchased just for this or it might have been taken out of an old microwave oven because early magnetrons used really strong, really big magnets just like this. And you can see just how strong this thing really is. It's almost on the same order as neodymium magnets of today. Anyway, there's coil of copper wire here wrapped up in this black tape and the whole thing is hinged on the top with a bicycle axle, bicycle wheel axle. There's a light bulb on top, it's a, I think it's a six volt lamp, and there's a switch right here that, turn, that connects the lamp to the coil, and you can see when nothing's hooked up to the coil, it moves freely, but as soon as I turn on the light, then it suddenly stops. And of course, that's Lenz's Law in action where we're moving a conductor through a magnetic field and cutting those magnetic field lines. And if you do it fast enough, you can really get that light bulb going up there. Also on the side, there's a couple of banana jack output. And there's a little DC motor hooked up to those right now, so put that on external, oops, and then we can get, get that motor spinning back and forth. And of course the motor shows that the, shows how it, the current goes a different direction as you put the coil in the magnet or if you pull it out of the magnet. And then if you do both at the same time, then you really feel of force as you try to move the coil in and out of the magnetic field. You can really feel it, how you don't get something for nothing when it comes to generating power from magnetic fields.